In this video, I'm going to go over a browser known as the Thorium Browser. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video to where you see a description, how to install it, and links from the creator. Let's take a look at what the Thorium Browser is. Thorium is a browser that combines minimum design with sophisticated technology to make the web faster, safer, and easier. It is a Chromium fork for Linux, Windows, Mac, Android, and Raspberry Pi, and it's named after a radioactive element number 90. If you scroll down, and here's an image of what it looks like, a screenshot after I install the theme from the creator. Now, I do have two ways of installing it on Ubuntu and Debian-based systems. One is by installing the PPA or repository information and then installing the browser. Another is by downloading the installation file from GitHub. And there's other links that I have at the bottom where you can download and install it from. But in my situation, I'm going to install the dev file. Now, there, I should have made an option three. Option three would have been download the installation file to see if you like it. And if you don't, it's easier to remove. And I have the removal at the very bottom of this web page. And that way you don't have to remove the repository information. If you decide you do like the browser, then once it's installed, you can skip this part and just put this part in. That way you're putting your repository information so that as you update your system, then uh, it will update the browser. So here's the GitHub site, which is the current release. At the time that I'm making this, it's the 53rd release. Uh, when you click on it, it may be 54th or so on and so forth down below. Now, if I were to click the dev file, and, and there is an app image for any of the uh, Linux users. App images should work for your system as long as you choose to run as an executable file. But in my case, I'm going to install the dev file. So if I click that, it will download to my downloads folder. And for time's sake, I've already put it in the downloads folder. So that way we won't have to wait and watch it download. So I double click this particular file and I'm using GDB. If you would like to install GDB on your system, uh, I do have the link, uh, the information here by copying and paste this sudo app get install GDB or you can just leave off the get and put sudo app install GDB and you can install it the same way that I have here on the system. Once this loads and it shows you all your dependencies are satisfied, if you're missing a dependency you can click that but if when you install the package it will get the dependencies first if some is needed and then it will install the Thorium browser. Let me click install package, let me put in my password, press the enter return key or the authentication key and as it's installing, I'm going to show you a few links that I have on my website. Here's the pictures as it's installing. When it's finished, it will place it within your internet folder. It will then place the Thorium browser and the Thorium shell, which is a very basic browser of this. And the first time you run it, it will look like this. Now, since I haven't already installed it to take these screenshots, it will miss the Welcome Thorium browser. So I do have the link here that I can copy over and paste it into it so that you can see what it should look like. It allows you to toggle from dark mode to light mode. And there's other links. And I, these links here I did put at the bottom of my website. So that way, if you forget how to get back to the welcome screen for the optimizations to file an issue on GitHub and other related information from this site. So I do have all of this down here at the very bottom. Here's where you can install a dark theme from the creator. And at the very, very bottom, here's some recommended extensions. But at the very bottom, I do have the, the Thorium links from the GitHub website, the actual Thorium, Thorium website where they claim that it's the fastest browser on or Earth. Gives you more information about it, some highlights. It is like the Chromium browser with some things modified in the background because it's a fork of Chromium. And it, there is a Thorium OS, so if you like this, you can uh, replace like your Chrome OS like on your uh, Chromebook. Here's some links uh, like for Mac users, Linux users, Android users, Windows users. And here's the extensions, the creator. As you can see, I've clicked the theme, and then there's the scroll tweaker, which I don't like, but you may. So I do have all these links at the very bottom. Let me close this out. Let me go back to make sure that we're finished. It's the same version already installed, so I'm ready to close it out. I go to my applications, internet, and there is my Thorium browser. The first time it loads, it's not going to have the welcome screen. It should, because I've already installed it on my system. So I'm gonna put the welcome screen that I had from a clipboard from my Brave browser. Here's where you can toggle the light and dark mode. Now once you hit the home button, 
it's going to open to this page each time until you choose what page to load within your settings and I'm not going to go through all of these settings because if you ever use Google Chrome, Chromium or any of the Chromium based browsers it has very similar settings under the settings here it may have some tweaked that's different from the other Chromium based browsers. Now you can customize the theme here but if we go to the link that I have already open here we can install the the Thorium uh, material dark theme from the creator. So let me take this and go to this particular browser and when it opens I can say add to Chrome and now it's finished it should pop up a little thing saying hey, do you want to undo it I don't so I hit close here I hit the home button and now you can see that the it made a dark top it made it dark the browser itself and it put the background created from the creator of the browser you can edit your little links that you have here by edit your shortcuts or remove them and you can add your own personal shortcuts you can come here and change the theme at any time you can turn off to show those shortcuts or you can turn them back on you can say to show your shortcuts the ones that you add here or you can choose the radio button to show the ones that are the most visited sites and I'm gonna leave it that as is for right now now another thing about this is I'm gonna copy my site and put it in the Thorium browser so that way that I have links to the extensions that I can install some I'm not gonna install all of them these are the ones that I recommend so when I scroll down to my extensions which are here you don't have to install the Chrome Web Store. I do have the link here in case you accidentally remove it, but it will come with the Chrome uBlock Origin already installed. It may be hidden, it may be unpinned, so you can pin it on the bar by clicking the little uh, push pin button. And what I recommend doing is clicking on uBlock the first time you install it, click the cog wheel or open the dashboard button, and when you do that, click on the filter list at the top and choose purge all caches and then hit update now because when you first install it it will come pre-install with uBlock Origin it may not have all the filters to update from the websites that could be harmful so I recommend you to get the updates for the uBlock Origin the next thing you if you prefer to install a plop, popper blocker to prevent pop-ups uBlock Origin is great at removing ads but it isn't the best popper blocker or pop-up blocker so you can install your preferred pop-up blocker I have this one now this is a free version and premium version the free version does a good job and the reason I like this is is it has things that you can remove the overlays like when you have a pop-up blocker you can allow certain pop-ups from certain websites and you can block uh, pop-ups that could be intrusive on your uh, the web pages that you may visit. Now I'm not going to go through here and install each of these. Now if you prefer to add that one to your bar you can click the pin here as well and it will add it to your bar. Now you can choose like Privacy Badger or DuckDuckGo uh, from the Chrome Web Store or, or the one of your choice that will add extra security. I recommend using a, a password manager. My favorite password manager is the Bitwarden. I don't store any of my passwords in the browser and that helps make it more secure. I do have some additional things that will make your browser more secure as well. Now if you do decide to install it from the first option and you want to remove it, you can just go to sudo app remove the Thorium browser and that's not going to remove the PPA information. You just simply bring up your software and updates click on to the Thorium Rocks Debian stable click the remove button close button and then reload and it will remove the repository information from your system now here's some links to the github website the Thorium browser website the Thorium packages the releases the dark theme and if you need to file an issue if you have a problem with the browser you can click this you can click a new issue and write it and then eventually the creator or someone that's working on this particular browser will respond as you can see here there's several people that has respond like to the Netflix and to uh, these particular about Google Hangouts uh, there's still some waiting to be prompted uh, for a response but you can re post issues about this particular browser now this particular browser looks very similar to all the other chromium based browsers now I haven't used it enough to say it's the best browser you know best is very subjective what one user might consider better someone else might be using it for something else and they may not see it as 
uh, good. If you're not familiar or don't like the Chromium based browsers, if you're more into the Firefox and the fork of Firefox, the creator has also forked the Firefox into a browser known as the Mercury browser. And you can find that on the Thorium browser's website. But I will in the future do an update or a review on that particular browser. So if you do want to stay away from the Chrome and Chromium based browsers, you might want to give the Mercury browser a try. But that will be in another video. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.